Hey friends, today for eLab, let's explore a really cool Grand Rapids Park called Richmond Park. It's on the city's northwest side and it's over 100 years old. This is an amazing park that features an amazing pond, as you can see, with wildlife in it, and an amazing sledding hill, which used to have a ski jump on it back in the 1930s, and it has an amazing pool. But there's so much more to Richmond Park. We're going to look at some of the nature that's in Richmond Park. It's a great place to come here with your family and explore the great outdoors. Wow, just look at the sparkling waters of Richmond Park Pond. Look at all the Canada geese. Also, there are lots of ring-billed gulls and mallards that hang out here. This pond provides habitat for many types of wildlife who come to Richmond Park to enjoy. Check it out. The pond at Richmond Park. Hey, fifth grade, we're at Richmond Park. Look at this cool producer that I found. It grows near water quite often. It's a very common group of trees called the willows. Have you heard of willows? This is a willow. Willows can grow with their roots in water and they still survive. It's an amazing plant with long sword-shaped leaves. Many insects will munch on the leaves of willow. Look at that one. <laughs> so willow is one of the producers that we find at Richmond Park. Let's keep Wonderful looking. shaded playground. Richmond Park has great picnic tables and grills. What a great place to come with your family and have fun in the great Look at outdoors. This squirrel, it's an eastern fox squirrel. It's a herbivore and they love acorns. Here's a cool shrub that's planted along the edge of the pond at Richmond Park. It has opposite leaves and they're simple leaves. This is called dogwood. It's called red osier dogwood. Look at the red stems. Beautiful bush and it provides berries that birds and other animals can eat. This is called dogwood. Dogwood is a great shrub for wildlife. Just look at those tasty berries. <laughs> Let's see if I can walk all the way up this huge sledding hill at Richmond Park. It's huge. I'm tired already. Still walking up. Wow, that was quite a walk. I walked all the way to the top of Richmond Park Hill. Can you imagine looking out? over the city. What a great view from the top of Richmond Park Hill. Look at the pond, look at the city skyline back there. You can see some buildings. Can you imagine there used to be a ski jump and toboggan run on this hill? Wow. Come to Richmond Park, have some fun with your family. There's lots to do here. Let's walk into this great forest. Here are some ants that have made their homes in the grass up here on top of the hill at Richmond Park. Ants are a consumer. Shh, don't tell your friends. Up here on the edge of the hill at Richmond Park, on the edge of the forest, I see these raspberry bushes. These are big enough where maybe they will produce raspberries if I come back earlier in the summer, maybe in July next year. Look at the raspberry. That's a great producer that produces food for consumers. Yeah, consumers like me. Here's one of the many trails that lead us into the forest on the hill at Richmond Park. It gets much quieter when you get into the deciduous forest. Look at this. Right up here on the hill at Richmond Park. Flowering dogwood. And the leaves are already starting to turn color. Look at this beautiful flowering dogwood. It has a simple leaf and very unusual veins. It also produces flowers when the tree is older and mature. No flowers on this one probably this year, but that is a beautiful example of a flowering dogwood, another producer at Richmond Park. Let's learn a little more about native versus non-native species of plants and animals. This is non-native multiflora rose. Doesn't that look familiar? Ouch, it got me. Whoa, I just heard a blue jay. I wonder what other birds live here at Richmond Park in the forest. There it is again. I heard a black-capped chickadee earlier. I heard a downy woodpecker. Many birds live up here in this forest at Richmond Park. I found at Richmond Park up on the hill, I found this nest of a hornet. I don't know if that's from a yellow jacket hornet or a bald-faced hornet, but it's a paper nest made by a hornet or a wasp, and it's something to stay away from. 
But did you know many animals actually eat hornets, bees, and wasps? So that's evidence of a consumer up here. Wow, I'm up here on the hill in the forest behind Richmond Park. And check out these cool mountain bike trails. Whoa, I don't know if I dare ride my bike down that one. Check that out. If you like to ride your bikes on trails, they have a great mountain bike trail here. If you dare. Wow, look at that one. <laughs> awesome. Whoa, I just heard a red-bellied woodpecker. That's another consumer that lives here at Richmond Park. Check it out. Eastern Cottonwood. Boom, 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 boom. Well, unfortunately, friends, I'm seeing a lot of this invasive shrubby tree called buckthorn. If you've been around Blanford Nature Center, you probably know buckthorn. We work to pull it up and try to get rid of it. It's a very aggressive non-native species that really can take over a forest. We'll keep studying invasive plants like this buckthorn and try to find ways we can help control them. Wow, this is a good plant for wildlife food. Producers use sunlight, water, and part of the air to make their own food. They make simple sugars for food. And then they provide food for consumers. Look at the grapes on this wild grape plant. It grows as a vine, and there aren't that many left of the wild grapes. They've probably been eaten by other consumers. That's what the leaf shape looks like. Even the leaf must be tasty. You often see holes in it from insects. Wild grape. Wow, first graders, look at what I found at Richmond Park. It's a little tiny toad. Look at that. The American toad. Hey, I wonder, is a toad just like a frog or is it different? Take a look at this little American toad. I found him on the edge of this water. Wow, friends, look at this little wetland behind me. I'm seeing a lot of green frogs jump into the water here, but I can't get a good video of them. So this wetland at Richmond Park has some frogs in it. They look like green frogs. Wow, we found a few reptiles and amphibians here at Richmond Park. We'll study them in more detail later. This cool little wetland at Richmond Park. I see these insects called water striders on the surface. Those are consumers. And I saw a couple different frogs hopping by. You see the dragonfly right there? It's a beautiful green dragonfly, green and black, right there. Wow, right here, it's just hovering there. A dragonfly is a consumer, and it lives right here at Richmond Park. Whoa, that is so cool. Look at it flapping its wings. Wow, now it lands. Look at this cool flower called cardinal flower growing right here along the edge of this wetland at Richmond Park. That is a really cool flower. You don't see that everywhere. Wow, cardinal flower. It's a native plant right next to Blue Verbane too. These are two beautiful native plants growing in a little wetland at Richmond Park Pond. Awesome. Oh, look at it in the wind. One of the aquatic plants that grows in many ponds and feeds a lot of consumers is duckweed. See this small little plant floating on the surface of this wetland? It's called duckweed. Duckweed is a producer, and it provides food for many consumers. Hello, duckweed. Check it out on a hot summer day during a normal summer season. This pool is an awesome place to play. Look at that slide. When you come back in a normal summer, you can use the amazing pool at Richmond Park. Anyone for tennis? That's right, Richmond Park has tennis courts, basketball courts, ball fields, and amazing nature. Look at this little wetland that's been put in here at Richmond Park. Let's take a look at this wetland. Well, friends, I've seen evidence in the form of tracks. Now I've got some other evidence that there's another consumer here called white-tailed deer. I knew there were white-tailed deer here. I've seen them before. They're scat as their evidence for white-tailed deer. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder, red oak or white oak? Hmm, I wonder. Oh yeah, it has the rounded lobes. Remember, rounded lobes are white oak. Here's the bark behind me, white oak. Fifth grade friends, I hope you enjoyed the tour of a great Grand Rapids Park called Richmond Park. So much to do here. 
so many recreational activities, so many nature places you can go. Look at that forest trail. I could spend a lot more time here at Richmond Park. It's time for me to start heading home. Come and visit sometime. There's so much to do. Come check out Richmond Park.